Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody wanted to know how to draw a comb uh, and cut it out with a laser. I don't know. You would have to figure out a lot of things, and because uh, you can't have them too little like a real plastic comb, or they're going to break. I mean, this one right here is, that I just happened to draw is 1.27 inches wide, so this isn't going to work. But this would give you a start. So I've started off with graph paper. Graph paper is underneath your polygon tool fly out. And then you determine how many, how many you want when you draw the graph paper, 15 and by 15. And then you can make, make it any size you want. I made it black so I could uh, show you the, the drawing of it. And I'm just gonna do it a couple of different ways. With the B spline tool, I'm gonna left click left click, left click in the center, left click on the end, and then go all the way back to the top. I left click, left click in the center, left click. So I'm doing is left clicking on those nodes on the midpoint and the corners. Now I'm gonna go back down and I'm gonna do a little bit different. This time I'm gonna click there, there, and there, and there, and there. And so I'm gonna, well, I'm going to go and make the, the top the same, but I'll make the other two. So I'm going to click the first one, the second one, the midpoint, the node on the corner, and you can see, and when you want to stop that tool, you just double click on it. That would be a start, and you can see how the ones on the left are a little bit sharper. These are a little bit more controlled. I mean, it's a, it's a neat way to draw, uh, even if you weren't doing a comb or, you know, anything with the, I very seldom ever use this uh, tool, but when you use it with the graph paper, you can kind of see where you're going. And I'm gonna kind of skip a node that time. You go up there and you can get different effect. I mean, you could, you don't have to stop there. You could stop here. Click on that, and it's going to kind of give you an even. As long as you click on the next box, it's going to, you know, you, you can skip one there, but go there, go there, click on that, and it's giving you a a drawing that's kind of uh, symmetrical. See, I, I, I clicked on that second box. Now I'm going to click on this second box, and it completed the joint. I don't know that this is going to help that many people, but it is a way to draw some stuff. And then if you were making a comb, once you figured out what size graph paper you wanted, and that doesn't really matter because you can always squish them up with your pick tool and, and get them closer together. And I do like these better for a comb than this little bit broader one. But then that way you kind of measure with the parallel dimension tool how, how far this opening is, and it's still way too big for a comb. Might be a beard comb or something. I've seen some combs like that. You can't get it really small because they're gonna break unless you do it out of some sort of plywood. There's a three-eighths of an inch. Um, you know, anything less or, than that, you know, if you got to a you could probably go a quarter of an inch. I wasn't thinking about it. And that's one thing neat about the parallel dimension tool. So there would be a comb, and if you duplicated that all the way over, and if you like that, of course, we have, I needed to stop down at the bottom, but you could uh, control D and duplicate that and then use your control key to do that. But you would need to start at the bottom. Anyway... I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank